YouTube, Tutu UK, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the latest and the greatest instalment of my hoarding experiences, expeditions. Um, I've turned into a junker. The wife calls me a junker. Taken after she says that that fob's a bad influence. She's turned you into a junker. Yeah, let's put that down. Yeah, we got another TV. It's a Sony Bravia. I'll show you it in another video. I might do a little. I might do a short because I'm going to be massive. I'm going to be massive this year on YouTube. I'm going to fucking smash it. I'm going to like fucking take over the world and you know make loads of money from it and stuff. But um. Well, joking aside, I'll probably do a, a little short on it because it's it's not that interesting. But essentially, the big fucking behemoth, it was just too much. It was dwarf in the room, and what I've been able to do is put the B and O on there as well. So I'm fucking dual screening now, boys. Dual screening. Fucking hell, we're going places. Um, it's not perfect. None of these fucking TVs are perfect. I'll tell you that much for now. Uh, it's like a, I think it's a Gen 1 LCD. So the beauty of it is, but now stick with me here. The beauty of it is, it's got PC VGA, so I can do the Dreamcast via VGA. It's got components, so I can do the uh, OG Xbox coin ops on it. That's from Beeps. Um, it's got two SCARTs RGB. It's also got S Video, so you can do N64 at the minute. And it's got like shit to accomplish it as well. So, like I say, you can hook shitloads up to it. It has got weird quirks um, with the Saturn. That's running at 60 hertz at the minute. Running the uh, X-Men vs. Street Fighter in homage to Dane Stat at uh, Hidden Chess Gaming. Um, but, yeah, it doesn't like when you flip between 60 and 50 hertz on the flight. It, it fucking flids out. It doesn't like it at all. So, you can kind of, it kind of like starts wobbling. But when you do it the other way, when you boot it and it, and it, it sort of fixes, I don't know, maybe it's to do with the sync or something, it doesn't like it. And there's a few, um, didn't like the twin Famicom either. It, it, it won't fucking play ball with that at all, it won't sync with that, but that might be because it's compass shit. I definitely need to get that RGB modded. I think that's a sync issue. Um, but no, yeah, I think the Saturn looks all right. I think it looks quite nice. Um, and on the old cube, the old pube, the game pube, um, the old spice orange. Uh, that was from Steve Redraw Triple Four. Fully fucking modded that as I need to get the little adapter that fits at the bottom because it's based on Z because there's Xeno chip in it. Um, but I did have I was gonna put Star Wars the game from the old uh don't know if you guys are aware of that one. It's got the original game on it, but it don't it it sort of does a um I can say it does an intro. Doing the track mode, but there's no music. I thought there might be a whole music, the whole speech, but it's not. So, yeah, I was a bit pissed off with that. So, uh, I did put on the, uh, the thing, but it's not fucking worked. Well, it started to work, and it, I thought it might roll around. Let's just see if that does a little rolling demo. So, yeah, just sort of give you a spin. I've got the, still the old mighty Vectrex in the corner there. So I'm still tinkering, that's what I said to you before, guys. You know, I'm still room for it. it ain't fucking finished. I've been pissing about down that end, the other, to the other end, because um, obviously I'm running out of space. So there's things I might need to change and stuff. So yeah, it's still, still work in progress, believe it or not. But I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, well, I do feel a bit bad because we got the big, I made Rob go out and get that big behemoth of a TV, but you know, I'll look after him. But I think that sits and suits better. Um, it's 32 inch as well. But yeah, not perfect. I would would have liked, still would like, a 14 inch um, Trinitron, to be honest. Because I think that would sit a bit nicer. But, see, then I'd lose all the all the other inputs, which is, I kind of like, I kind of like the thought of that, having them multiple inputs on it. Anyway. Any road up, you're not here to hear me. Well, you might be. Some people might find that thoroughly interesting. Not I, says the weather at the other end. So we've got some stuff. I've got a lot of um, old paper. Got a lot of old paper. And it might not be for everybody, so... Um, I won't spend too long on it. Essentially, I bought... 
somehow I managed to get this deal on, on eBay. Fucking, I couldn't believe when the guy agreed to do it. He was selling a load of CVG stuff, but he said collection only. 25 quid collection only. I think that put like, everybody off. So me being me, I just messaged him saying, like, is delivery not available on this? And he went, um, let me have a think. And he come back, he goes, I can do, he goes, it would probably be about 15 quid with DHL. And I thought, well, okay, 15 quid, I can do that. Because it was like 52 magazines or something. So it still ended up being less than a pound a magazine, 25 at 15. I was like, yeah, fine. So I said, look, change the the listing to put the, the, the postage on and I'll buy it. Well, obviously he went away and obviously must have like calculated it properly. And the postage ended up being like £9.50. So for 35 quid, I got like 52 magazines. Um, now, unfortunately, a lot of them I already had, they were duplicates, but there were some in there that I didn't have. Um, and it's kind of... Uh, give me a bit of a dilemma as well in terms of um, the years because my collection only went up to 2002 I think it's 2002 some of these run into 2003 and I didn't really want to go beyond what I'd already had from back in the day um, so I've kind of not bagged and boarded these but these, this is like July 2003 and it's all kind of like playstation -y type stuff again I mean these are in fantastic condition I'm not gonna spend like I said I'll just show you the fronts you know your Tony Hawks Harry Potter that's quite a nice one the turtles on the front of that one um, actually 2004 these are 2004 now so it's 2000 it's two more years you can tell the, like the logos changed it again they kept doing that not full, not full years for these two. So again, I'm not, I'm on the fence a little bit. Splinter Sound, Midnight Clubs, Xbox, Need for Speed Two. So I've kind of put them as a mm, maybe. I'm not sure. I'll have a think. But these, this year, the two thousand, the two thousands aren't very expensive. They aren't, they ain't very expensive to collect for. Um, but there was a. Again, so you've got that handful there, and it's only these ones here that I didn't have. So it's like one, two. <laughs> what was that one in there? Three. Oh, yeah, because it won't fit. One, two, three, four, five. Like about ten. Ten of them, like 20 magazines. Like, oh, just. It is what it is, though. For the price I paid, I'm not moaning. Uh, again, I'm not going to spend too long on these because it's not for everybody. Two, five, one. So this is like some of the latter end ones. They weren't. Um, they weren't very old. It's all from like, I think the best is like mid nineties. Um, that one's not in a board because it's too big. Basically, it's too wide. It won't fit on the board. This one's quite nice. Didn't realise I didn't have this one. Resident Evil Two. Nice cover on that one. January ninety eight. That's what I mean. So it's like late nineties, two thousands. It run from. I think it's about ninety six. I think there's some ninety six ones in here. Another ninety eight here. The 98 Tekken 3, uh, Star Fox 64, July 97, Knights in Dreams, Jan 97, nice Christmas one there. Uh, I haven't got many of these, this is 96s, I ain't got many 96s. Attack of the Killer Games, uh, that's July, and the Crash one from November 96. So yeah, chipping away, just chipping away, but that was a it was a bizarre deal. So how many did we get that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten magazines that I needed. And probably like another ten there that I'm kind of on the fence with. Uh for 35 quid. So like, you know, you did the math there, but essentially I've got 52 magazines. So I'll just move the other ones on and it'll, it'll more than pay for them. So when he said ten pound posters, like you know, what I mean, this could be a short video. I might have to do a Kev's box. Kev's box could be ending. Season ender. Not in this video though. Is that one still going? Yeah. Um. So I've been doing some uh, piecing together. One of my favourite pastimes, other than sticking boxes back together as well. <laughs> 
Um, so I've been doing a bit of that as well. I've been doing a bit of that. I'm just double checking because I feel like I have forgot something, which is unusual, especially in this room now, because I'm pretty, generally pretty well organised. Um, but I did have some other old paper, I forgot to mention, some Games X's, but I've put them into into the box because um, I thought it was too much old paper and people get really, really bored of it. And, and I'm 10 away from the full set of Games X's, but they're really hard to come by. I don't see many of them. Any roads up? Talk and piece it together. Um, I picked this game up. God, I don't know, years ago. Eight years? Ten years? Maybe not ten years. At least seven or eight years ago. From a charity shop, for a pound. It was missing the manual. It's bugged me for the longest time. Price of this game is fucking ridiculously expensive. There was a manual on eBay that was hovering around a 50 quid mark. Typical, don't want to give you any offers. Not interested in, in whatever. And then one appeared from Sweden. Um, and again... I tried to, he did have offers, tried to do some offers, but because of the import and the tax, it was just making it like, man, this is ridiculous. So I just left watching it, and it's been sat on there for months and months and months. And then the guy sent me an offer, and again, it still wasn't, it was still more expensive than the one in the UK. Um, and I, I sort of counted like a really low ball offer, and I mentioned to him, like, it, it's the, the shipping and um, the tax. So we come back with, a, a, I think we took and throwed a little bit and essentially settled on, I think, 35 quid. Did I tell you, I'll tell you guys everything I paid for. There's no point in lying because you're going to go and check fucking eBay yourself anyway, aren't you? Which you'd all do. Which I've done. I've caught loads of people out. Don't fucking lie. It's not worth it. Um, so for about 35 quid, a lot of money for a manual. A lot of money. But when you see the manual, you'll realise the whole game's cost me basically like 36 quid. And it's how night. And the guy packaged this superbly well. I mean, it come fucking bulletproof. And it is just a manual. And it is in English, from Sweden, an English manual. But yeah, so now, this bastard, and it's a nice copy, which didn't have the manual. We can now complete that. So what does that make that? I don't know, 200 pound game, 150 pound game? In that condition and all not but i know i'm happy for it to be completed and i say for the way i looked at it it's cost me 36 quid 37 quid to complete so absolute fucking no-brainer um and that was the other thing i meant to say which is off the back of the, the vid that you would have hopefully just seen or the last vid i don't know if my light bulbs are going because I think the lighting keeps changing. I don't know if it's like not bright enough. And so then I'm start going back to thinking, oh, do I need to put that light back on that Dane gave me on and get another one? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Because sometimes it seems all right and then sometimes it seems duller. I don't know. Maybe it's getting old and my eyes are failing. But I don't know. What do you guys Is the lighting still okay? I'm a little bit obsessed with lighting because I've said before, I was. The only good thing about the blast furnace was you get the natural light. The downside is you have to make videos in the day. Right, anyway, on to some Nintendo cardboard. Um, and you know what? No CX. Uh huh. Uh huh. eBay. All eBay, actually. All eBay, this is. Um, I'll leave that one to last because I've pieced that one together. Fucking. Ugh, so chuffed I've got that one, that one to complete. Um, we'll do this one because these come as a little. Little job lot. There was um, empty boxes, N64. So I've got uh, a full power set, albeit between loose box and part complete. Obviously, some missing manuals and stuff. So I'm always on the lookout for boxes, you know that. So a deal come up, load of empty boxes, a couple that I had, but one was an upgrade. So I've included that here. Um, two that I didn't have. So I'm still looking for manuals for these. They're not expensive games. <clears throat> the other two that I'm missing manuals for. So the first one that I got, that's, which is complete, which is complete, which is complete now, but it's a box upgrade, was Command and Conquer. Mine was not much better than this, but slightly better, so I've just upgraded it. <clears throat> and it is complete. I'm not going to show you, not going to bore you. Um, this one I need a manual for, and this one I need a manual for, and that's Nagano Winter Olympics 98. 
quite nice boxes, don't really need to do a great deal with this. So if anyone's got a manual, I can get one on eBay for a fiver. Um, and I can't believe I didn't have a spare money for this. This is probably like probably one of the cheapest N64 games. Uh, F1 Grand Prix 2. So, yeah, if anyone's got a couple of manuals knocking about that they don't need or want for them, let me know. We're going to be done really soon here. It's 15 minutes in. Um, so with that bundle was this box game here. Which I'll show you after I've showed you this one because it's a bit of a, a bit of a tasty title, um, but that whole lot cost me fifty quid, and I really only bought it for that for this box. And when you see the box in a minute, you'll know what I mean. But not this one. This one came with another box. Um, again, I uh, had the cart for this. Obviously, it came with the manual. So for a nice complete copy now, book bumble for ten quid. Well, two pound fifty postage, so twelve pound fifty. I've got quite a nice boxed book bumble. I do know that this has got... Um, some people like it. Some people get on their tits. It's the, there's a, the book bumble jingle. It's like a rap thing. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I can't really remember it f fully. But it is quite... When I vote, no, it's time to... Right, so the one box, and it was just the box, no inserts, no, uh, God, she knows, no manuals, nothing, just the box. So I got those three, this one, and a handful of others. It was it was a really good deal, really good deal. It was on bids, and again, like I said, I won it for about fifty odd quid, and um, I had, so had the cartridge. So we got us, we've got us a boxed. Resident Evil 2. Not perfect. It's so hard to get a nice copy of this. I think because of the nature of the game, you know, a lot of people coveted this game. So, yeah, I think a minty, minty one of this is like 300 quid. So I was missing the manual. And again, trying to find a manual for this is like fucking hen's teeth. Because ordinarily they're all with these. Um... I did look, there was one sold for about 35 odd quid, I think, before. So that kind of gave me a ballpark figure. I thought, okay, I could probably do 30, because again, it's when I piece it together, even in this not, not mint perfect condition, it's still worth a couple of hundred quid. Yeah. Well, there was one on there that had the, uh, the cart and the manual. But it's 80 quid bids. And I, I sort of I thought, like, it's worth an ask. I asked the guy, look, we just. Tell the manual, no, I'm, I'm you know, and he was quite nice about it. I said, no, I understand. So I was sitting there on my narrowing, and it's still a couple of days for this thing to finish anyway. And it, anyway, it comes round to it finishing, it's 80 quid. I just thought to myself, well, if I buy it with the cartridge, I could just sell the cartridge and offset the cost against the manual. So I, I can't remember what I bid, but I basically won it for like 80 quid. And then before I even had the cartridge delivered which is a bit naughty i know it's a bit naughty but i used that guy's pictures and i put the cartridge up for sale and i'd sold the cartridge the next day for 80 quid so the manual cost me a couple of quid like because obviously the fees and that so it's probably cost me like three or four quid and again what is quite nice about it and i said this before it's got the matching patina so it's not perfect it's not like a spanking you know out, doesn't look too out of place against this I'll just take this one out so yeah for a, it's, I can't remember I mean obviously the cartridge come from CEX however long ago that was with 
that store credit. The box, less all the other ones, is probably will have cost me like 20 odd quid. So I don't know, for less than like 60 quid, I've ended up with a boxed complete version. Again, it's not, you know, it's no um, Shaft Queen. Oh, that was it. So, what's obviously the person who's listing this was obviously knew the value of this because what they said was the inside tray of it. Is, is damaged because it's one of these ones that's got it's got an internal tray which I hate um, but it wasn't damaged it was flattened it was just flattened down so what I did I've obviously ironed it and I don't know if you can see I've managed to and I've just padded it out because what it was it was caving into that corner there it was like divoted in so it does hold the cartridge fine and those eagle eyed might spot I did a little little repair job just in that corner because it's coming away look We put that in there, and I don't like these ones because it means the manual sits on top. Who was putting the manual on top of a box? Dave. What's his name? Can't believe. David something. Oh, I can't think of his bloody channel name. But he's trying to jam in a manual on the top and then sticking it in. I was like, yeah, you're Chris, Chris, the manual's not even my fucking game. Um, but yeah, I think overall. Now we have a complete copy of Resident Evil 2. Another fucking heavy hitter. Heavy hitter on the NC. Is it not perfect? But for what I've actually ended up paying. Chuff to that. Chuff sick. Um, and actually, by the time, I meant to say, by the time this video goes up, Doncaster would have been and gone. So I'd have hoped to have seen many of you there. This is future Tootie talking to... Past Tootie talking to future Tootie. And all you guys. So anyway, look. We're 20 minutes. Been and gone. That's all the pickups I'm going to show in this vid. So we're going to do a bit of Kev's box. Just try and get Kev's box out of the way this year. Ding dong. Kev's balls are fine. Which is easily doable. So, first up, at Kev's box. Barbie! <laughs> Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. Who was on about, about Barbie? Geordie Slasher Gaming and Big Game Allen, a few other people. Um, Retro Ed. God, they're always on about Barbie games. Don't know. Got a clue. It's a PAL one, UKV. Oh, high Tech. By that High Tech, they did um, Tom and Jerry as well. Can't comment. I don't know. And also to, to note, the last lot of Kev's box games, last lot of games out of Kev's box, I actually did play. I've actually gone through and tried them. Um, so Pac Man, Joe and Mac. Joe and Mac's not very good. Ghost Buses is terrible. Um, Yoshi's Cook is great. Side Pocket's not too bad. Shadow Warriors 2 is balls hard. Mac Riley does a weird thing on the, uh, on the Twin Famicom. The screen goes all distorted. Pac Man's Pac Man. And California games, yeah, I said at the time, not a fan of California games. I like the thought of it, but I'm not a fan of the game. Anyway, so I do play them. I actually have been playing them. I've said that before. Next up, Punch Out, standard Punch Out. So, Mr. Dream, no Mike Tyson in this one. Plays exactly the same. I can't see if that's UKB now. I have got an eye test coming up. No, oh, I can't read it. It's, look, it's blurred in. I think it's UKV. Um, yeah, I've got an eye test coming up. A couple of weeks. Can't go this weekend because I'm at Donny. Stalling out. What else was I was going to say? No, can't think. Right, next up. So I've got <laughs> what I was going to say about my t-shirt. Hang on a minute. Next up, Lee Trevino's fighting off. Apparently, who was a watching? Someone did a video and he met this guy They're over in the States. Because obviously no one knows who the fuck he is over here. Unless you're a weird golf fan. Um, and he said something about the game. This Lee Trevino. He said, oh no, but it made me loads of money. 
It's a lot of shit game at the moment. This is an Italian release. Yeah. I don't have a clue. It's golf. After cricket, probably the worst sport to sit and watch. I don't know how people sit and watch fucking golf. Um, yeah, my t <laughs> this T-shirt's probably older than the channel. Uh, if you go right way back, I used to wear this T-shirt. It's when it fitted me, so I'll, that's how much fucking gone backwards. It fits me now. That's why you should always keep your clothes. Next up, this is the weird one. Oosh! Black box, heavy hitter. Boom. The original Donkey Kong 3. Um, with a sort of single language at the back. GBR is a GBR. Um, yeah, Donkey Kong 3. God, I would not want to get these box complete. And no, before anyone starts, I still you'll get them all, but I won't, I won't, I won't. I'll just get the ones that I can get, when I can get them for a good price, like Resident Evil 2. I'll sit and wait, no rush. There's no rush, I'll just pick them up as and when. Uh, next up to the hockey. Jimmy Connors Tennis. So I do know who Jimmy Connor is. This is actually a UKB one. Um, not sure how it fares in terms of a tennis game. You're not going to beat Super Tennis. Or virtual tennis, for that matter. But um, yeah, nice end label. Like I say I will give these a play. They, they will have a have a blast on the old uh, on the twin. Next up, F15 Strike Eagle. Ooh, Palais, but it's UK beef. It's anything. Like the Amiga Flight Sims, then no. Sorry, I don't know how them fucking games sold. Anyone bought them games back in the day <clears throat> on the 16 bit micros. You've got to be right, a real weirdo <laughs> to enjoy them games. It's six there. Sorry, it's just like fucking hell, man. No. I think it's because it's a group of afterburner. You just want to get in and fly around and shoot shit. You don't want to be. Fucking doing throttle and crap. Krusty's Funhouse. I do like this on the Super Nintendo. I have no idea what it plays like on the uh, the NES. We'll have to see. Um, UKV as well. I've mentioned it on, about the SNES one. I'm going to pick that up. So disappointing this was. In terms of... Like, probably worse than fucking Bart's Nightmare. Not Bart's Nightmare. Um... Bart vs. Space Movements, because everyone thought it's going to be the Simpsons arcade. <clears throat> this one, he thought, oh yeah, it's going to be like an arcade, and it, this come out, is like, fuck me. But, when you actually played it, it's a really decent little puzzler. Like I said, I don't know what it's like on the NES. Next up. Tiny Toons Adventures. Again, another one. that got, um, That's Buster's Bust Loose. But Tiny Toons did come out on there, didn't it? Bus is bus loose. Uh, UKV. Was it Tiny Toons Adventures? No, because that was Buster's Hidden Treasure, wasn't it? <clears throat> so I don't know. I don't know which... It's going to be a platformer, isn't it? Tiny Toons. But it's by Konami. Konami. Wouldn't expect it. One, two, three, eight. Two more. Yeah, it takes about 30 minutes, that's enough. That's enough of me. Next up. Aladdin. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't have thought it's got a patch on the uh, the old 16-bit ones on the Mega Drive or the SNES. Um, when I mentioned about Jungle Book, I think it was, <coughs> Kev, Kevin fucking Walford, who these were, he said it's terrible. <laughs> so... The pedigree of Disney, although a lot of people would sort of say, oh, it can't do any wrong. Well, it could on the 8 bits, so. But again, this would have been a late release because they, they obviously came out on the 16 bit machine, so maybe they might have learned a lesson. I don't know. Last up, last one, last one for today. It's not a black box, I know that much. Alfred Chicken! Alfred Chicken, what a very strange game. 
Um, I remember this more on the Amiga. I think on the Amiga. I think I remember getting confused with something else. Um, possibly on the Amiga. I don't really... Or was it the Super Nintendo? Going back to my last vid. Can't think. It's going to be one or the other. Um, but it's, it's around that time. I don't really remember the, it, it being on the NES. So again, I'm, I'm assuming this is quite a late release. Uh, Palais. Yeah, UKV. So, 1993. Yeah, so, say, good two years since the SNES has been out. And it's still, still knocking them out. So, I don't really know... I don't, can't say I've actually played Apple Chicken, but I remember it. I do know of it. That's probably the best way to say that. Um, eight games. What should we do for the cheesy thumbnail? <laughs> we need a cheesy thumbnail. Do that night. Mm. No, that's a bit. That, that's way too cheesy. Let's do it like this. Love taking a piss. It is a piss take, by the way, guys. Because um, I just find it funny. Especially when you do that stupid drawing around the faces, around their heads or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they're doing it. <laughs> anyway, that's enough for me pissing about. Hopefully I would have seen you at Doncaster. So if I see you at Doncaster, great to see. If not, why not? And um, yeah, the next vid will obviously hopefully be if I actually buy anything from Doncaster. Still plenty to go though, guys. So take it easy and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.